motherfucker that attacked a, a black female employee from McDonald's, I was right. He looks like a wombat. He looks like an endangered species. Wombat. I, the dude look... He look crazy as hell, man. I'm watching this on Instagram. The, this update they having right here. I, I'll show you guys the little clip they got. I ain't never heard of that. I was in Virginia last week and I saw a straw. I got a straw in the lobby. Yep, she did the right thing. Say on his Look at him. Taylor also he looks like a wombat. McDonald's wouldn't allow the employees to talk, but sent a statement saying, quote, our highest priority is always the safety and well-being Typical of our Typical box cutter statement from McDonald's. She mentioned to me that uh, she used to box. She was pretty good at it. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Uh, regardless, regardless of the connection, the connection percentage that she threw on that damn, that troglodyte wombat, um, <laughs> she was throwing hands regardless. She was throwing hands. Um, so it turns out she has not been fired. Um, she still got her job, but I think she needs to just find another job anyway. Because for one, um, nobody helped her. All the dudes that were there were just standing there. Just standing there. So many guys. All these dudes was raised by single by single mothers. Of course, it's a it's a it's a product of you know our struggles as black society by not, you know, not uh emphasizing the power of the black family structure. So single parent households are abundant in our so-called communities. Over 72% of black mothers are giving birth to children out of wedlock. We know this. Those are Statistical flag, uh, statistical facts, and we're not marrying black. We're we're most likely marrying more non-black people or procreating with non-black people. It is what it is. I'm pro-black. I want to marry black. I want everybody to be black. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, in the system of racism, white supremacy, you know, they see you. Um, if you have a darker hue, they see you as a nigger, point blank and simple. But Kind of, devi kind of deviating off into uh, another subject. But my point is, is that, you know, with this incident here in, in McDonald's that happened, you know, uh, this, this black woman, she held her own. She was actually more manlier than any other dude around um, her vicinity. She was way more manlier, way more tougher. Um, and it, it's, it's a, it's a, um, reflection of our society black society specifically as a whole because again you're having these mothers raising children by themselves so therefore they have to take the role of a female and a male so they have to have the female energy and the male energy raising their children in the household it just it's, it's becoming it's just becoming it's hyper masculinity in terms of a female a female should have not been attacked like that, of course, but at the same time, a female should have not, it should have not been escalated where she had to physically get involved. A man should have, a man should have immediately stepped in, at least broke up the fight, right? At least broke up the fight and stopped that troglodyte wombat from attacking that sister. That's what should have happened, but that never happened. None of the dudes, none of them, none of them employees from McDonald's, those dudes did absolutely nothing she was restrained by a female and then this goddamn manager was still taking this dude's order you know what i'm saying that's crazy that's crazy so at the end of the day i think she really needs to just basically leave mcdonald's get a nice uh get a severance check but then also sue uh mcdonald's for i don't know for for i guess negligence Whatever the case may be, uh, I'm not a lawyer, but a lawyer will figure it out how to get compensated uh, from her former employee's uh, establishment for sure. You know, get a nice get a nice uh, reparation check from these motherfuckers, man. You know, because them dudes ain't did a goddamn thing for her. She, they were, she was not protected by those dudes. 
And then the goddamn manager stepped in and just took his order. Didn't even give a shit about what, didn't give a shit about her, her well-being at all. He still took that dude's order. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's super duper, super duper crazy, man. Um, you know, but it is what it is, man. You know, again, it, it, I'm not surprised. It's 2019. I'm not going to be angry at these, these troglodyte wombat devils, you know, and the LGBT community. If this man is actually a uh, homosexual, y'all need to reprimand this dude and, and, and make sure you, uh, um, denounce his behavior. All right. Cause he has suspect behavior. I, I, I would imagine, I can only suspect that the dude, the wombat is a, is a suspected homosexual. LGBT community needs to go ahead and denounce that dude. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gonna remain silent because y'all have a double standard. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But those are my quick thoughts about this um, McDonald's incident. Just trying to, I'm just finding more about this information and just giving you my thoughts as I see it. So it is what it is, family. Anyway, until next time, make sure you follow me on social media at GMOG Media TV on Instagram. All right, family, until next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.